Hello again, I'm here with an example of how we can determine the angular speed of these rotating pulleys that are connected through belts. And I will show you that actually this uh, relation between the angular speed of these uh, pulleys actually is just like the gear ratio uh, or if you have two gears in contact. Here obviously the contact is done through the belt but the, uh, the gear ratio relation applies. So let's say here you're given that, given that, uh, say, pulley A uh, is rotating at, say, uh, 300 RPM. So, and let's say it's rotating counterclockwise. Okay, so, so, so basically this could be, you know, uh, you know some uh, system in in a in an, in an automobile uh, where this the uh, a is uh, the rotation of the engine and say b is uh, the generator pulley right and then uh, c could be for example the air conditioning uh, uh, air conditioner pulley so let's say given that Omega A is 300 RPM. Uh, what would be Omega of, so find Omega of pulley B and Omega of pulley C. So this is really a trivial problem. Uh, just kind of reviewing your gear ratio relations uh, here. Uh, so basically, uh, you see how this uh, belt is connected uh, or the pulley A is connected to pulley D right here. So pulley D actually is attached to pulley B and they're rotating with the same angular speed. So actually omega of D and omega of B are the same. So if I find omega of D, that's exactly like omega of B. So, uh, and that's done based on the ratio of this pulley. So if you do a ratio of omega D over omega A, the way it works is that there is a inverse relation between the angular speed or in general the speed and the size. So basically you would have the ratio of the radius of A to radius of D. So you see inverse relation. Basically you're matching the speed of the, the belt. So um, RA omega A uh, is equal to R D omega D, velocity is R omega. And that would be velocity of a point on this belt basically. So if we do that, uh, so we say omega D over omega A, remember omega A is 300 RPM and the unit is okay. I mean, we could have it in radians per second or RPM, we'll just leave it in RPM. And look, the ratio of RA to RD is uh, 75 to 25. So basically you see how uh, pulley A is three times larger than pulley D we, that means actually pulley D, which is a smaller pulley, is going to rotate three times as faster. So now omega D becomes 900 RPM. And then using the same uh, concept now, of course, this is the same as omega B, right? Omega B is 900 RPM as well, because remember D is attached to the center of B and D rotating the same way. So if this guy rotates, by the way, A rotates clockwise, counterclockwise, this one also rotates counterclockwise, and this one rotates counterclockwise. They're all rotating counterclockwise. In gears, by the way, if you have two gears in contact, if one rotates uh, one, one direction, the other one has to rotate the other way. So that's the only difference uh, between gears and uh, pulleys that are connected through belts. Okay, so finally, if you want to find omega C, do a ratio. Omega C over Omega B is the same as ratio of the radius of B to radius of C. So Omega C over Omega B, which we know is 900 RPM, is equal to R of B is uh, 100 millimeter and R of C is 50. So actually you're doubling now the speed. So Omega C becomes uh, 1800. So basically, effectively, what we have done, if this is our input, say, in a way, and this is our output, by this, pull, uh, by this pulley arrangement, the input of 300 
input of 300 RPM now is going up to an output. Say the air conditioner is the output, air conditioner pulley. The output is 1800, so it's six times the input. Okay, I hope this video was useful to you and uh, hopefully I'll come back with more videos of maybe some gears. Uh, thank you for watching and listening.